Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you some new Criterion titles that I picked up, so stick around. So I went to Barnes & Noble. This right here is going to be my last haul for November. I was able to pick up eight titles that I wanted. Um, the store was really picked over a lot. And um, I'm just very lucky that I was able to find these on the shelf. Um, but first up, we have... Safety Last. This right here is a Harold Lloyd film, which I've been watching a lot of his... I've watched two of his other films, and I wanted to add another one to the collection. I really have been enjoying this one. Um, this right here is from 1923. And this right here is um, a really good entertainer. It reminds me a lot of Charlie Chaplin. And I don't know, for some reason, I just really have enjoyed watching what he does. So here's the case, and the inside, our disc, our booklet, and here's a look at the menus, and here's the inside artwork. Okay, next up we have The Power of the Dog, so here's a 4K release. Um, it was on my wish list, so I'm happy that I was able to pick this one up. Um, I haven't really heard much about it, so definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Um, it does have a really nice looking um, cast um, in this film, so I think it should be pretty entertaining. Um, but here is the case, and again the back. Open it up. We have our two disc and our booklet. And here's a look at the menu screen. And here's the inside artwork. Okay, the next title I got is Arsenic and Old Lace. This right here is another one that was on my wish list. Really looking forward to checking this one out. I have heard a lot of great things about this one. Um, I've never seen this one before. So um, I do enjoy the old Hollywood style films, the black and whites. So here again is the case in the back. And then the inside we have our booklet and our disc. And here's a look at the menu screen. And the inside artwork. Okay, next up I've got Buck and the Preacher. This right here was another one that was on my wish list. Um, this is another one that I've never really heard much about until the Criterion was released. So definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Again, here's the case in the back. And on the inside, we do have our disc and our booklet. And here's a look at the menu screen. And the inside artwork. Okay, next up we have Daddy Long Legs. This right here is a Safety Brothers film. Another one that was on my wish list. Um, I had never heard about this one either until I started researching what I wanted to pick up from the sale. And this right here got a lot of good recommendations. Again, here's the front and the back. Open it up. We got our disc and a booklet. And here's a look at the menu screen. And here is the inside artwork. So my next pickup was a blind buy. It is The Flight of the Phoenix with James Stewart. I have seen this many times during the sale and never picked it up, which makes me wonder why I never did. I really do enjoy James Stewart. And just reading the back of it, it seems like a very interesting film. Again, here's the case in the back. It's a very long one, 142 minutes. And then the inside with the disc, and it looks like a paper airplane. And here's a look at the menu screen. There's also a booklet included. And here is the inside artwork. Okay, next up we have the Lady Eve. This right here was another blind buy. 
I saw it on the shelf. I've seen it on the shelf many, many times. It's another older film, black and white, from 1941. Um, I am a fan of Henry Fonda and um, Barbara Stanwyck. So I think this right here should be really good. It gets high reviews over on Blu-ray.com. Again, here's the case and the back. We open it up. And here's the inside with the disc, which I really like the disc art and the booklet. And here's a look at the menu screen. And the inside artwork. And then lastly, of course, we have Wally. -E. I've been really excited about picking this one up. I do like that it has a digipack style packaging. Um, so I was really excited about this announcement. I'm really hoping that this does well and that we will see more releases. Maybe some Disney films, some even even some older Disney films would be fine by me. But this right here is like I said, it's a slip box digi style packaging. So when we take it out of the box, we have this nice artwork. I really do like that. Let me show you what it looks like. Very nice looking artwork. And it does come with a booklet, a really thick booklet. So very happy with that. And then we have three discs. And the first disc, of course, is our 4K disc. And we have the Blu-ray disc. And we have Another Blu-ray disc, number two, which probably has the special features on it. And then the inside artwork. And here's a look at the menu screens. So I'm really excited about my pickups from this Criterion haul number two. Um, I have been watching a Criterion film every single day during the month of November. So today will be my 22nd one that I'm going to watch. So I'm not really sure which one I want to watch next. But I'm definitely looking forward to checking these out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. Let me know what you think about these titles. And I would also like to know what you've been picking up during the month of November. I have been watching a lot of your videos and getting a lot of good recommendations. If you like what you saw here, today please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel i really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video if you haven't found me on my social media accounts i'm on instagram tiktok and on twitter and if you'd like to find out what i've been watching you can find me over on letterboxd i do have links below but thanks again for watching and we will see you next time